Find us together, Lord. Find us together, Lord. Find us together with love. A song of unity following the reconciliation of two factions from the ruling Patriotic France Party. This was shortly before PF presidential candidate Eddie Galungo could file his nomination for the January 20 election at the Supreme Court. On Friday last night, a meeting was convened where Mr. Lungu and Mao Samba's group, led by acting president Dr. Guy Scott, consulted with the backing from North Mid Assemblies of God Bishop Joshua Banda. And on Saturday, it was time to tell and show the world that differences have been put aside and now it's time to work together. Mr. Lungu, Dr. Scott and other cabinet ministers attended a meeting while Mr. Sampa's absence was easily noticed. The acting president has emphasized the need to have a free and fair election, threatening to resign if PF engages in corruption. I stick by my promise that I made at the memorial service for Michael Sato that as so long as I am president of the Republic of Zambia, the election shall be free and fair. And if I find people not sticking to it, I will, start, will walk off the podium and to go and I'll do like Kaunda did, I'll resign until you call me back. If you did, you call me back. Meanwhile, Mr. Lungu says the reconciliation is genuine even though Mr. Sampa was not present at Saturday's meeting. He has disclosed that court's cases will be withdrawn now that the party is united. He's right here, but I think I can safely speak for him. Others who were there with us came vouch for the authenticity of what I'm saying. Yes, now Samba is part of us. And in fact, there was no fight. It was just a decision to have the right to contest for the president of the year, which cannot give rise to any fight whatsoever. Ever since President Michael Sata died, confusion arose in the party regarding the issue of presidency. But now differences have been put aside and Mr. Lungo and Mr. Lungo has successfully filed his nomination papers before the acting chief justice. Naomi Nandu, Movie TV News, in Osaka.